What's going on, YouTube? This is Forever Brandon TV. Guys, first and foremost, I would just love to say, guys, happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the real fathers out there, guys. I'm, I would just like to say that I know that I'm blessed, you know, to have my dad in my life. So, I, you know, I, I, I just want to wish happy Father's Day to everyone. But, guys, I just feel like I need to just do this review just because of the simple fact that I'm a little late on it. I'm, a, I'm about a month late, but uh, I still want to do it anyway because um, he's he happens to be one of my one of my new favorite producers, guys. This is Boots, the produce the one of the producers on Beyonce's album Beyonce. Guys, his real name is Jordy Asher. But come to find out, this guy is a rapper, a singer, a po a poet, a poet, a poet. This guy has a voice. He makes good beats. Now, guys, if you if you don't know some of the songs that he has done off of Beyonce's album, let me refresh in your memory because he is epically amazing, guys. He has done Ghost and Haunted. Well, pretty much haunted on Beyonce's album. He's done Jealous on Beyonce's album. He's co-wrote in Blue Heaven. Guys, uh, it, 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 he he's epically, and these happen to be some of my favorite songs on Beyonce's album that I play nonstop. Haunted, Jealous, and Blue. Now, I, I I I don't know if he's done anything else on the album, but those, those are so far the four songs that I know that he has done. He is epically amazing, guys. He has a dreamy type sound, and I I I, I, I would like to say I really like I really like his the, the direction he went with Beyonce's album. He did his damn thing because Hunter and Jealous are um, like my two favorite songs on Beyonce's album that I never stop playing nonstop. So I I, I just want to give a shout out. Uh, to uh, Jordy Asher, Jordan Asher, or whatever his name is, um, that he's amazing. But anyway, he has his own mixtape that I was waiting to come out, but you know, I didn't, I didn't have an official date because they were saying two dates. So I, I got the official date. The official date was, I think, May the 6th or something like that. So, guys, the, the title of the mixtape is Winter, Spring, Summer, Fall. The album cover has a girl with with the uh, it looked like I don't know it could have been his girlfriend or somebody because I know most of most of the songs he's talking about his girlfriend or whoever. But uh, I, I I really like it. He even has a song with Beyonce that some of you probably might have heard uh, called Dreams. But guys, that that was the last song on the album. But anyway, uh, the first song uh, uh, I would just like to say it. I like the whole mixtape as one, but I think the main song that I found. Real interesting was Dust, number two, Dust, How Your Move, uh, slash how, slash your move, Fade Away, um, All Right, No More, featuring Shlomo, Shlomo and uh, Jeremiah. Guys, that's number six. Uh, that song had a nice little beat to it. I'm going to play that one probably in a minute, but... Um, uh, uh, sheep looking motherfucker. That's number nine, guys. That was another song that I found interesting. Uh, it, 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 y'all, this is a different style of music, guys. It, it, even though it kind of reminds me of the weekend a little bit, this guy is talented. The, his beats are off the chain, guys. Because if you if you've heard of Beyonce's album, you would know Jealous is one of my was one of the cuts that did you know that I know a lot of people like. And Haunted, because Haunted is one of my favorites, but he, he if, if, if you heard him, he did his thing on them songs, but if you hear his music, it's like, it takes you on a different type of atmosphere, and and and, 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 and kudos, I would, I, I would just like to give him his props, because the guy has it, the guy has it, so guys, I'm just going to play, you know, the songs that I found that were interesting, uh, the first song, A Day in the Life. Of Jordan Asher. Bang, 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 bang. She spilled guts like BP. Uh uh, she'll never get a read off me. Or rather, they better with me. Not that I burn brighter and hotter than a billion and one stars. Negative clouds on my mental. Is it just me? I have a phone off the ship, flow spacey. I have a phone. A day in the life. The B is 
weird, but at the same time, it keeps you like bobbing your head a little bit. And I, I, I like the little background voices that he's making. Guys, come and find out he does his own backgrounds. If, if, if you guys know on Haunted, he did a, 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 a work in 9 to 5 just to stay alive and 9 to 5 just to stay alive. He, he sung that part with Beyonce. <laughs> guys, that happens to be one of my favorite songs on that album. But I, I really like, I, I think he had something to do with a little bit of the ghost rap on Beyonce's album. Uh, 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 um, and I've been drifting up on knowledge. Cat calls and cat walks, man. These women getting silent. I don't, I, uh, uh, yeah, I, 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 I just, oh, please don't get me started with her album. But anyway, he, I think he had a little bit something to do with the words on ghost. And guys, if, if you know the pianos, uh, uh, on, uh, the piano on blue, on uh, heaven, and on uh, 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 haunted. Uh, the pianos, I know that he did. He does his own music. He does the background, the vocals. He does everything. He's he's he's, he's he has a, a good blend of harmony, and you know, I, I I just really enjoy his music. So then we got the next song is two. His number is dust. I like the 808. The 808 is off the chain. Hopefully you guys can hear it. If not, I will. Amazing. Now, Dust happens to be one of my first favorite songs on this album. Then we got How Your Mood. Y'all, Boots is about to be one of my favorite new people that I'm going to listen to. I, I really hope this doesn't be his last mixtape either. I want him to actually make an album. Now, this actually this mixtape actually reminds me of an album. But I just like the different types of music that this guy makes. All of it don't sound the same. He got a little bit of pop in there. And I like how it gets at the end with the piano, at the end of the album with the pianos. Um, but anyway, another song like it was Fade Away. Now, that song actually kind of reminds me of The Weeknd. The, the, the little high note that he's doing, that's giving me fucking Weeknd slash somebody else. Maybe Phil Collins or somebody. But anyway, this is giving me The Weeknd. Then we got the next song, All Right, All Right. It's kind of like a club song, you know. This actually reminds me of a song, Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. Uh, Macklemore, Ryan Lewis, and somebody. And he's actually a rapper, too, and he actually makes sense when he raps. Yes. Then we got No More featuring Jeremiah. This is my yeah. shit. This is one of my best songs on this album. Hey. See, then he got a little ratchet. See, this is, this is, this is, uh, 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 that beat, that beat, that beat is on the chain. <laughs> then we got the next song, Awesome. I think this is a beautiful song. Stuck on your 
like stars. The boy got a potty mouth. Then we got another song uh, that I found interesting was Sheep Looking Motherfucker. It's so, I like the analog. It's just so in the fucking air. It's just, this boy, I'm telling you, he's on my list. If you notice how he how he did some of his songs on his uh mixtape. Now a lot of the songs it has a, a first part and a second part. Now I think he he's he's he did that with Haunted, uh a little bit of with that with blue. Um it's like a one part, then a second part. Now this is I notice a lot of people are doing this on that music now. They have one part which is like the first interlude or prelude before the actual song or when the song starts. And I love how he did that with the uh, Haunts on Beyonce's album. So I noticed that a lot of his music is sort of similar to how he did that. And some of the words that he did that he has, you know, written for because you know, he 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 wrote some of the songs on Beyonce's album as well. So I noticed that some of the words that he's 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 had had Beyonce on her album, he's actually saying on this album. So that's another good thing that I, I found interesting about this CD. Then we got um another song which I like, which was Trouble World, featuring Sun Lux, Lux, Sun Lux, whatever. Reactions, but these somersaults and words can find the footing or the traction. I think this water's been poisoned. The way he raps kind of reminds me a little bit of Macklemore. A little bit. But I, Macklemore is on a different level. And, and, but anyway, I, I just, I really like, I like um the the song uh, uh, Autumn. It's like an autumn bomb or something like that. It's just beautiful. The guitar, I don't know if he's playing the guitar, but it's a beautiful type song that you would listen to on a nice summer day, if you're talking about your loved one, it's just so beautiful, and, I, and then it, it's just, it even got a little beat to it. Just amazing, just amazing. Yes, Boots. And then the and then the last song, Dreams featuring Beyonce, happens to be another one of my autumn leaf favorites. When Beyonce get into that hub verse, it just takes the song to another level. And I just I just love it. Just beautiful. You gotta hear her verse. I've been dreaming of you. I've been dreaming of you. I've been dreaming of you. Dreaming of you. Oh. That girl, girl, you better say, no, Beyonce. Anyway, this is. A good stepping stone for Boots, just so people can. I think he really made this EP just so he can introduce himself to the Beyonce fans, and I, 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 I I'm going to be a Boots stan because of some fact that I really love the songs that he did off of Beyonce's album "Haunted and Jealous." That is my shit. Them two songs are the main songs I play on that album. I don't care what nobody says. I just love his work. He did his damn thing on that CD. He did his thing with his mixtape. The guy gotta have it. And I, I, I'm just gonna have to be a boot stand now because he's associated with my girl. And y'all, and, 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 and hey, 
He did his damn thing. He do his thing with Beyonce. He uh, Beyonce is the co I found that as the collaborator of this mixtape. She actually helped him out with a couple of things. So you know they help each other out. But what I like about Boots is his creativity. All his music don't sound the same. It's on point. It's on a straight and arrow. It's it's a good. It's a fresh new start and fresh breath air of music, and, and it's a fresh breath of, for, for for people to get into him. You know. I mean, not, I mean, now that he is associated with Beyonce, he probably might do some stuff with her in the future. Who knows? But anyway, I, I, I just, I love the work that he's done with her album. He's the collaborator of most of the songs on there on her album, and she, she actually kind of helped him out a little bit with this album as well. Uh, uh, working nine to five, just stay alive. How come? But anyway, <laughs> off that subject. Anyway, guys, this. Winter, spring, summer, fall, you can download it. Guys, I'm not sure if you can get it in stores or not, but I know you can download it on one of the free websites, Album Kings or uh, New Jams or one of them. Uh, but you, you can download it. Uh, I will put the link in the description probably if I can find the link. But uh, I, I'm not sure if they got it on iTunes. I will have to check and see if they have it on iTunes. I'm not sure at the moment. But uh, I will like to say this, guys. Please go out and no, no just please support Boots because it, it, he he is a new stepping stone for music to me. He has a unique voice, and I feel like he has something to say. He has something to prove in the music industry. So, guys, I would like to give him a round of applause. This is Forever Burning TV, guys. Happy Father's Day. Enjoy your Father's Day. Deuces.